All right. Hey, everybody. Um, so I wanted to show you a little collection that I bought. I, um, I'm in the sports card market, and I uh, am in the sector of the market that uh, where I buy large amounts of bulk, um, usually shops that have closed down or you know individual collectors who have a who have a lot of bulk um, but that's kind of my strategy in this business is to buy large amounts of bulk as you can see in my garage here and you know mattress and everything as well but I uh, got a lot of sealed product as well but this uh, collection goes on and on and on this was uh, all of this that you're seeing here was a single buy it was basically a 20 by 10 storage unit completely packed with sports cards um, and there's just a ridiculous amount of cards. So, um, a lot of this is going to be junk wax. Um, a lot of it not particularly valuable, but on the other hand, uh, there is some amazing stuff in this, uh, in this collection. And so it's not easy and it's not quick, but, uh, over time we're going through this collection and every now and then you come up on, um, some interesting stuff so most of the boxes are going to be uh oftentimes sorted by the set uh usually the sport of course sport and set so you're going to get a lot of boxes that are completely full of junk wax and then you're going to uh get a lot of mixed boxes so this particular deal was a um uh, this guy was a dealer and uh he had a uh, card shop here in the in the city for many years and uh, they closed the shop down I believe he said in 20 2005 but I found cards from 2007 and I think 2008 in the collection so uh, maybe he was incorrect about that date but anyway those are some pretty good dates uh, for them to have stopped on so you're not going to find any Mike Trouts right but you're going to find uh, tons of Jordans Kobe's, LeBron's, uh, tons and tons of all-stars, basically all the way up until um, 2008. So anyway, most boxes are not particularly valuable, but every now and then you come across some stuff that's rather interesting. And here is one such case. Um, so I found this box, and I haven't gone through it. I've only identified... Um, what uh, years was were in here? So first off, we've got these cards, right? This is uh, Fleer Platinum from let's see, 2002. So okay, so we know Tom Brady is likely to be, or for sure, is in this set. I've looked this set up. There is a Tom Brady card in in this set. So we're gonna look. As you can see, <clears throat> as you can see, these go these football cards stop here, and then basketball starts, uh, and I'll show you those as well. So uh, the basketball set is uh, this Bowman Signature, uh, which I haven't looked at these yet, but uh, this is from 2002, so there's not going to be a, a LeBron in here. But basically what's happened is um, they opened a ton of these cards, and any if they didn't get any hits or whatever hits they got, they pulled out and either sold or... Uh, kept but they put the commons back in this box basically is what's going on so anyway let's look through these uh, football cards here and see if there's a Brady and then we'll look through um, this set here I know there's a Kobe there's a LeBron um, there's some interesting parallels um, in this set and of course uh, lots of autos but usually you don't find autos in these lots because they're you know the good stuff has been picked mainly it's going to be valuable um, base cards but Let's take a look. Let's see if there's anything of value in here. We're mainly, mainly looking for the Brady. Um, let's check this camera here. Can you see? Yes. Nothing interesting yet. Horn set, maybe. Um, oh, this, is this in order? Some of these are in order, or at least grouped together by player. That's convenient. Oops, not anymore. They aren't. You say you maybe. 
Anyway, we'll have to look these up. Tim Couch, I've seen a lot of his cards. I don't know much about him. Or say you. This one looks different. Unsung Heroes. Okay, let's we'll pull that out. Antoine Smith. Uh, okay, nothing jumping out at me. The Warren Sapp. Um, let's see the rest of these here. Couch and you. Okay. And let's get the rest of these. Doesn't look like there's going to be a Brady in here, unfortunately. But you never know. Jake Plummer, maybe? I don't know. Randy Moss will look up. Michael Bennett maybe will look up that as well. All right. I don't think, no, Aaron Rodgers, I don't think is, uh, no, he's later on. His rookie is later. Okay, so uh, not much in this, uh, this set of Fleer Platinum F Football. I've found a few reasonable cards. I'll set those aside. We'll look those up later. But I'm really excited about this basketball set because usually some good stuff has been left over. So let's just go through this and see what we can find. All right, so... Vince Carter, Garnett. I mean, some huge names in here, but I've looked it up. It's mainly the Kobe and the Jordans that we're looking for in this set. Let's make sure you can see this. You can. Tim Duncan, of course. Alonzo Mourning, Ray Allen, Rasheed Wallace, Betty Curry, Steve Francis. And these are in great condition. Look at these suckers. Iverson, always pull out Iverson. Shaq, always pull out Shaq. All right, we're getting somewhere. There's some reasonable cards in here. Oh, here we go. There's our boy, Kobe. Centering is not so great on this one. We're going to pull it out anyway. Kenyon Martin. Oh, here we go. Another Kobe with horrible centering yet again, but all right, I'll take it. There it is. Okay, there's the Jordan. Nice. Okay, this this seems promising here. So far, so good. Usually where there's one, there's more. We found, what, two Kobe's? Okay. I wish that all the boxes that I found were this good, but they unfortunately are not. But every now and then, I'll find one like a mid-2000s box, but Shaq... And uh, it will pay off. Looks like this is going to be one of those days. I want to say that these Kobe's and Jordans range in the um, in the uh, uh oh here we go range in the ten to fifteen dollar range, and potentially we'll get them graded. But the centering's pretty bad. So this is this is um I think this maybe this one's got a gold signature and looks different from the rest. And okay, so this is a numbered card uh, out of two forty nine. We're going to pull that out definitely. Uh, all right let's see okay nothing too crazy yet but we still got a lot to go here if we could get like a numbered kobe or a numbered jordan would be pretty dope it's iverson again Another Iverson. Tracy McGrady. I mean, I'm passing up a lot of Hall of Famers and just fantastic players, but they just don't hold a lot of value in this particular set. Stockton. Let's see. Carl Malone. Gary Payton. All right. Nothing too crazy in there. No more Kobe's or Jordan's at this point. It may have been all of them. Let's see. Steve Nash. Nope, spoke too soon. There's another Kobe. 
There's another Jordan. All right. Man, the centering on these. I would grade these. I potentially may still grade them, but the centering is just horrible. It's easy to see left to right. It's really bad. There's another shack. Okay. Oh, here's a Kobe. Now this one may have a contender here. This one is more centered, maybe a little top to bottom, a little off, but okay. Martin, another Jordan. All right, Garnett. And I'll, I'll double check that those are the two main valuable cards, but I believe that they are. Let's keep going here. This is uh, better than I thought it was gonna be. Parker, Chris Weber. Oh, here we go. Here's another um, numbered card, I bet. Glenn Robinson. Silver foil at a 249. Yes, sir. Take it. The shack. Okay. It could be that I could lot up all these uh, Tim Duncans and other superstars and kind of sell those, but we'll see. Okay. We're getting to the end of it here. Let's see what else we've got. So I would say, okay, here we go. Here's another Kobe. I would say that out of the hundreds, maybe even a thousand, there's another Jordan. Much better centering on these that we're getting into here. Uh, of these small boxes that I have, I have probably at least a thousand. I would say only 10%, if that, of the boxes have this type of stuff in them. Um, okay. All right. I mean, what are we up to? Five or six Kobe's at this point? There's another Jordan? What's going on here? <clears throat> All right. The Shaq. Are these in some kind of order? Oh, they're numbered oddly, too. S-E-V-C. Okay. Um, yeah, very few of the boxes. For one, you, you've mainly got 90s junk wax, but uh, very few of the boxes have this good of a, a run in them. This is fairly rare, but it does happen. It does happen. And that's what I do this for basically that's why i buy these ridiculously large lots because people leave this type of stuff behind and over time it becomes extremely valuable i found some really valuable lebrons there's another jordan um some great kobe cars some amazing iverson cars some very rare inserts just kind of left behind the shack jim duncan real and okay all right, that is the end of it there. I think we did pretty damn good on this one. Let's uh, quickly look at what we have here. So we've got a quite a big stack of stuff I've pulled out. I'd say like 20 cards maybe. So Shaq, Jordan, Shaq, Jordan, Kobe, Shaq, Jordan, Kobe, Shaq. Oh, here's one of the number glenn robinson another jordan another kobe another shack jordan kobe all right here's the iverson iverson numbered shack jordan kobe kobe shack and iverson so it looks like three iversons how many kobe's one two three four five six kobe's and jordan's one two three four five six jordan's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven shacks. I may have to look through this again, actually. There could have been some stuff I missed, but not a bad haul there. That was a pretty good one. Um, I've got another box I was going to show you that's fairly interesting, but I'm, I may stop this video uh, while we're ahead here. All right, everyone. Bye.